had an amazing Christmas. I had a wonderful time spending it with my family and eating way too much food. So before I get into this video, I just wanted to talk about a few things. One, I am using different lighting and a backdrop. So if you guys haven't noticed, my background is a white and not my bedroom and the lighting is really bright. So let me know what you guys think about this, if you prefer the white backdrop or you prefer seeing my bedroom. But one of my main Christmas presents was actually the lighting set and I got it off eBay and it's just a studio lighting set. It came with the background, it came with a black background and a green one and I'm really really enjoying it so far. So if you want to know more about that then feel free to like ask me below but I just thought I would mention that before I get into the video. I thought I would make one of these videos because I love watching them. I love seeing what other people got for Christmas so I thought I would make one of my own. So I'm not bragging, I just wanted to show you guys what I got, so please don't leave me hate because I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to show you guys what I got and do a nice little haul for you. So let's get started. I'm going to start with what I got from my friends first and then work on to family. The first item I received was from one of my friends, Jessie, and she got me this gorgeous necklace from Colette. She also got me this, which is a strawberry flavoured daiquiri slushy bucket. So all you do is you put it in the freezer and it turns into a slushy. So another one of my friends got me two things. The first thing she got me was this chili pepper shimmer dust for your body and it comes with a little powder puff. And the next thing she got me is this giant Sex in the City gift set. It looks like this and I'm really really happy with this. I can't wait to use it and it smells so so yummy. A family friend of mine got me two things as well. So she got me a leather heart key ring. She also got me this really cool mug that says keep calm and log on to Facebook. And I think it's really clever because I'm a Facebook fiend. I'm obsessed with Facebook. It's very addictive, as you're probably all aware. And I was just like, this is so perfect. This is like story of my life. Another one of my friends got me this gorgeous candle and this travel diary, which I think is the best idea ever, seeming as I'm going on my gap year next year. And she got me this mug. And I know if you look really close, it looks like a camera lens. But wait, it's a mug. Now let's move on to what I got from my family. So the first thing I received was something from my brother. And he is very aware that I'm obsessed with candles. And he got me this Akoya Sweet Pea and Jasmine candle. Looks like this and it smells absolutely beautiful. So the first thing I received is this giant chocolate cylindrical thing. And it has every single chocolate under the sun. This is going to get me extremely fat these holidays. The next thing I got is a shake and go slushy. I'm pretty sure you just like shake this and you have a slushy. Next thing I got is a Salon Elite detangling hairbrush. Another thing I got was this tripod and this is by Inca. And I'm using it at the moment. I've never really had a tripod before so this is what it looks like. It's adjustable height wise and I really really like it. I got these after dinner mints. So I don't know if you guys are aware but I'm obsessed with skulls at the moment and oh my gosh I got the coolest cup in the whole world. It has a skull in it and ah, I love this cup so much. Speaking of skulls I got a new handbag for Christmas and this is just a light brown leather handbag with chain detailing on the straps. And then if you guys can see that, it has like little skulls all over it. I actually don't have many brown bags so I think this will be really great to just have a brown oversized bag and it has skulls on it so even better. Then I got this Europe phrase book and this is going to be awesome for my gap year. Then I got this Vita5 CPR Create Heat Defense Weightless Memory Spray. Oh my god that was a mouthful. So this is just a heat protectant and I can't wait to try it out. Oh my gosh I totally forgot. I got a card from my family so it says on the front, surprise you must have been a very good girl I'm your Christmas gift. Then it has a picture of Justin Bieber, but wait. Ready? I thought that was the coolest thing in the whole world. I was like, I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. Ah, shut up, Justin. Next thing I got was a necklace, and as you can see, it's a statement necklace, and it's kind of like a bronzy sort of color. This is just an eyeshadow palette that I received, and it has... Lots and lots of different colours in it and I'm really really excited to use them all and play around with some tutorials and looks and stuff like that. So a few weeks ago I did a haul and I hauled this rose gold watch that I got from Kmart and I was eyeing this other one out which is pretty much identical to this but gold. When I actually went in to buy it they didn't have any left and they were sold out and then in my stocking this morning I found 
this gold watch and it's literally identical to this one and I wear this watch literally every day. So I'm really excited. I'll be able to change it up a little bit and that's what it looks like. So if you are looking for a new watch, I would definitely recommend going to Kmart. I got a few nail items. So the first thing are these press and go fast and easy acrylic nail covers and they look like this. I got the ones with the pink zebra print stripes. Then I got a few nail polishes. The first one is Revlon's Temptress and it's just this gorgeous pink colour as you can see. The next one is also a pink colour by Mickey. It doesn't have an actual name but that's what it looks like. This is another nail polish I got and this is by Tips and Toes in the shade 51. And then I got another Revlon nail polish in the shade All Fired Up and this is just a gorgeous red colour. So I'm looking forward to wearing that. Then I got another statement necklace and this is a silver one and it's really, really pretty. I think it's a really pretty necklace and if you're looking for affordable jewellery then I would definitely check out Ruby Shoes. So I also got these nail brushes and I got these off eBay a while ago and they finally came in the mail. Then I got the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Black Drama Mascara. So I had the Maybelline Falsies previously and I really, really liked it so I'm very excited to try this out. And I got the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I really wanted to get a full coverage concealer and I finally got one so I'm really, really happy with that. I got two phone cases. The first one is literally the coolest phone case in the whole world and it's just a plain black phone case with silver studs on the back. And then the other one is just a plain black phone case with little diamonds on the back. I got two more pieces of jewellery. This is from Sports Girl. It's just a rose gold ring with a, like, like a little spike on it as you can see and it's really pretty and it matches my watch so I'm like cheer it. Then I found this little box under the tree. You've probably seen in my previous videos I wear a daisy around my neck. A daisy ring. It's two tones so it has silver and gold on it and it matches my necklace so I'm so very excited to wear this one. Then I got this Sports Girl Over the Rainbow Roll-On Fragrance and this is really nice to just keep in your handbag and I'm very excited to wear this. It smells really, really nice. It's just a yin-yang candle and I thought it was really, really pretty. It smells good too and my room is going to smell so good with all these candles around. I'm so excited. I got two pairs of shoes. The first pair of shoes are just a simple pair of sandals and as you can see they have leopard print straps on them. So I'm currently loving anything studded and the next pair of shoes are these studded flats. Believe it or not they look really really expensive but they're actually from Kmart and I think they were $15 or something ridiculous so if you like studs too definitely check these out because they're a bargain. They're just plain black flats with this gold studded detailing on the toes. So the rest of the stuff I got is all clothes so I thought I'd save these to the end because there's a lot of them. And this is from Chica Booty. It's a really thin fabric and it's kind of cropped at the front if you can see it's a high-low style sweater and it's just a plain stripy knitted jersey. Then I got this black jersey from Supre. I don't usually shop at Supre, I don't really like their clothes that much but I saw this and I just thought it was really really cute and it's just a plain black cropped kind of sweater and I just think it's a really great staple to keep in your wardrobe. And then the last jersey I got is by Sunny Girl. And it's just a neutral coloured striped jersey. I got two oversized singlets. The first is just this plain white singlet from Cotton On. And it just has a wolf on it. And the next one is a pink Mossimo singlet. So the next few items of clothes are all shorts. The first are these high-waisted navy shorts with gold buttons. And I think these are really, really cute. I kind of like it how they're like sailor-esque. The next pair of shorts are just a plain black pair of destroyed denim shorts. I think they're really cute and I feel as though black shorts are such a giant staple in a girl's wardrobe. I got these pyjama shorts by Suzanne. Then I got this black skirt and yet again I feel as though this is such a big staple piece. Then I just got a plain black pair of leggings and these are by Charcoal. And... You know, not much to say about them. They're just a plain black pair of leggings. The last thing I got is a few dresses. And this is the first one. It's just a cream flowy dress. This one has gold detailing around the bust. And then it's just a plain leopard print dress. The next one is just a plain black dress. And it has like a daisy lace detailing at the top. And this is just a plain black dress with a frill up the top as you can see. And the last one is just a plain white 
kind of slip dress and it just looks like this. And this one was from Target. They had all different colours so if you are looking for just a plain thin singlety sort of looking dress then I would definitely go into Target and check it out. So that concludes my Christmas haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas by commenting below or leaving a video response because I love to find out what everyone else got. If you did enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up because it lets me know that you like these sort of videos and that you're liking what I'm posting. If you haven't already subscribed, then feel free to click that subscribe button down below. I know it'll be somewhere down there. It used to be up there, but now YouTube's gone all silly and put it down here. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!